Welcome to this brief video demonstration of GeoGebra Classroom. My name is Tim and joining me today are some awesome GeoGebra community members and we're gonna show you the power of GeoGebra Classroom. I'm gonna role play this, the teacher and uh, all these six are gonna role play students. So they've already joined my class. Let's see the work that they're doing. We're gonna check in on them from the role of the teacher. And here's what I see. Now here I have uh, an activity with three tasks. All right, I could see, oh, three students have started already. No one started the second or third, but let's just take a peek at the first task here. In this task, I actually asked them to construct two planes that intersect and tell me what that intersection looks like. And if you look at my screen here, what the teacher sees, I can actually see what's going on. I see Elizabeth has seen it already. She has her line graph. Julia's still in the works. And John, um, psst, John, two, but plane, but not a sphere, not a sphere, okay? Yeah, but see, I can actually look at any student's work without asking them to screen share with me. That's the power of GeoGebra Classroom here, pretty powerful. So you can ask, you can engage your students with discovery learning tasks and watch the progression of discovery. You could watch it build over time here. Very, very powerful. If we could all go to task two, okay, look at those thumbnails changing. I love it, great job guys. Let's go to task two, all right? If two planes intersect, how would you describe their intersection? And again, they're typing in their responses and uh, I can clearly see what's going on here. All right, we have three responses so far. They're all coming in here. And if I wanna share my screen with the class, I can go up here and anonymize all the names so nobody knows who typed what. Pretty powerful, right? You can also ask multiple choice questions. Uh, John, if it was a sphere and a sphere, I would say circle would totally be cool. But John, I guess is student six, but you know what? It's, uh, this is pretty awesome, all right? I wonder, love that student four, that's Scott. All right, task three, here we go. All right, if two planes cross, what can we conclude about them? This is like me pulling the class, if you will. Now they're, they're just kind of going, uh, they're just checking, unchecking happy. Look at those bars changing in real time. Dwayne's over in California, Julia's in Austria. They're over 10,000 miles away and look at how fast this data is coming in. This is the power of GeoGebra Classroom and we wish you and your students much success in using it in the months to come.